Tyreek Dern brings it across midcourt. Explorers looking for their first score of the afternoon. Dern penetrates, kicks it back out to the perimeter for Pettis. Skip pass into the corner for Mills. Baseline jumper, hook it in, and the Explorers are on the board. Coaching 15, White, hand off to Mills. Mills looking to drive, hesitates, beats his man to the rack. Layup good, and the Explorers are within one. You got Seminov in the air at the foul line, and you just toasted him down the lane. Great hesitation. And down, goes to work on Flores, oh. off the glass, couldn't get to go, got his own miss, right back up, no good, tips it again, keeps it alive, and Wright will try to throw it off a defender's leg, it goes between them, and then Earl Pettis comes back with the ball. Now he's gonna go baseline for the runner, up and in, and the Explorers stay after it and get rewarded. Swindle four, and the Dukes, the big man gets a look. Peter Cena step back jumper, toes on the line, but he knocks down the deep, Jumper puts the Explorers up 10-7. That's something we didn't see the other And then wrap it up with a pair of games on Thanksgiving weekend at the Palestra. Devin White gets around his man and fires it down! Right-handed slam! He just abused Gene Swindle on the baseline. Wow. <laughs> That's what we want to see out of him. Trade on Duran now picks up the dribble guarded by Peterson. A bounce pass to the far side for Davis. And then he lost it out of bounds. A lot of energy from this Explorer team as they force yet another turnover. Number three on the Dukes. Time short arms and air balls a shot. And then Tyreek Duran gets the rebound. Four on two break, takes it himself. High off the glass and in. Tyreek Duran, coast to coast. Again, Kale, everything is starting on the defensive end now. Everyone, every time it looks like James Madison has an easy basket, someone's helps. And the Jarrell Wright. Wright goes baseline on Swindle. Reverse layup. Up and in! Jarrell Wright. And it forces a 30-second timeout by Matt Brady and the Dukes. They are getting rolled early on after leading briefly. Gets it into Dern, a bounce pass to the sideline. And the Explorers in possession, leading this game. Explorers basket scored by number and three, it, Tyree. And that's a part Tyree of the, Dern steps back and hits the long range jump. That's a part of the game we really have. Back to Dern. Dern guarded by Hitchens in the man. Bounce pass to right, roll into the bucket, got the roll, and a foul on the play. Jarrell Wright really fit. Yeah, first half with six minutes to go. Pettis is driving a kick beyond the arc. Tyreek Duran! Big three for the sophomore Explorers back on top. Entry pass to Lopez. Lopez tries his hand on Swindle. Goes up and under. Layup good. It rolled around, but Lopez used that big body. Wonderful move. Kept his pivot down on the ground and was still able to create space to give himself a wide open. About five seconds left on the clock and it was a very difficult play for him. Back so. to action, Zach to right, layup and one. The Explorers had a 10 point lead, it's now 12, and the freshman Jarrell right. Foul line jumper's not there, so instead he goes back to Mills for three. Sam Mills! Emphatic three pointer, and the Explorers are back up by 10. Great ball movement by LaSalle. The ball never touched the ground, and probably comes Mills near side. Penetrates to a double team, finds Pettis alone for the layup and the foul. This kitchen still. Reaching around Durham, but that's going to do it. Homecoming victory for the Explorers, 92-83, the final score. In a hard-fought game that James Madison just wouldn't go away from. The Explorers showed that resilience. They were in almost an identical situation to what happened on Tuesday. They had a six-point lead with 139 to play. Tuesday night, they didn't get it done. Tonight, they did. I think you're uh, talking two different teams, Villanova being at their place, but uh, LaSalle did a wonderful job. Uh, again, their guards are going to run the offense, they're going to run the team this year, but um, kudos goes out really to